Well, good morning. Hey, welcome to Daily Bread. God bless you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, to a uh, miracle work that God has uh, worked through my life from way back coming into this world up until now and all the people and uh, experiences in life that the Lord has shared with me. And now I take those experiences and I share those things with you because he told me that he would take every experience of my life and use it to bring a blessing to you and to bring glory to him. So I pray that what we're doing is going to add glory through you to him uh, in Jesus' name. Now, we started out talking about prayer yesterday, and uh, this is a very long subject. I mean, it takes a lot of time, uh, but you need to have a specific definition about prayer that you have about everything else. You have definitions about certain things, cars, uh, certain things that you're involved in, you know, hobbies and whatever. You have a definition of that. So what's your definition of prayer, you know? Uh, I'll give you one that you can use uh, until, you know, the Lord God may give you another one. But prayer is simply a gift of language, okay, to communicate with the supernatural, the supernatural authority of the universe. And that is the Lord God, okay? My privilege to communicate with him, okay? Now, when we get into prayer, it should be because there is something in the word of God that you have uh, you've gained some understanding about it and you're bringing it to the Lord uh, because there's a circumstance that's going on in your life. So there's you that's in prayer. You're coming to the Lord in prayer because you know that he's the one who can provide the supply that you need for that particular circumstance that's going on. And it can be body, it can be finances, it can be family, it can be a lot of things, okay? career, anything. It can be anything. But you're also coming to him because there has been a hindrance to you receiving those things through your physical abilities or through uh, the abilities of others that maybe have been favoring you and that position, that thing still hasn't manifest. So you have to also understand that there's an enemy that's involved that's causing you to go to the Lord God in prayer because if there was not an enemy, okay, you have to understand your faith would instantly bring you everything into your life instantly, okay? But the enemy can't hinder God, tries to hinder you through your doubt, fear, uh, all kinds of other things, uh, being mediocre, not being a predator about with faith, uh, things can hinder. But Jesus told us this, and uh, this, is, this is again why I said yesterday that prayer is such a great privilege that we're missing out on. All right, in John chapter 16, please go with me. Now we talk about this, again, communicating to, again, the greatest person, the master, the creator uh, of, the, of the universe. This is the supernatural authority of the whole universe. This is daddy God we're talking about. All right, we're not talking about your banker, okay? No, are we talking about your piece of paper you got on the wall somewhere. Uh, we're talking about the Lord God, El Elyon, God Most High, okay? He says this, now this is Jesus talking about prayer. Now remember he said men ought to always pray, okay, and not faint. In this particular scripture he tells us, all right, the, the privilege that we have in prayer, what opens the door for us to talk to uh, Daddy God, okay? He says in verse 23, this is chapter 16, book of John, all right? And in that day you shall ask me nothing, okay? Truly, truly, verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you that whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, okay, he will give it to you, okay? Hitherto you have asked nothing in my name. He says, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Now, that's what everybody's wanting. You're wanting your joy to be full, okay? But there's only one name, all right? That's going to get you an audience of one. Okay, and that is the name of Jesus. So my prayer, whatever that petition might be, whatever it might be, all right, that prayer has to be lined it. The foundation of it coming to daddy God must be in Jesus' name. There are not all these ways to get to heaven that people say, okay? There's only one way. There's only one name, all right, and his name is Jesus. And Jesus specifically tells his disciples that if, if, you, if you're going to ask for something, Ask the Father in my name, okay? My name will open up the door for you to walk into this particular storehouse in heaven 
whatever storehouse that might be. And I've seen a few of those things years ago. The Lord showed me some storehouses and he, you know, he explained to me that there are things there waiting for his people to ask for to receive. Now, uh, again, going there, how do, how do we go? We go in faith, okay? And so going in Jesus' name and using our faith, believing that the Lord God desires for me to have those things, all right, then I've got to go there knowing that's, that's what he wants. Now, why do we sign up for prayer? Okay, why do all of us sign up for prayer? It's because life is not treating certain things aren't right, people aren't right, uh, countries aren't right, things aren't right. So we live in an upside down world, so we're trying to turn our world right side up through prayer. This is what Jesus said, John 10, 10. I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly or have it above the ordinary, okay? Uh, so having life above the ordinary starts out with you and I preparing ourselves to receive life above the ordinary. That life above the ordinary comes from above the ordinary, okay? It doesn't come from the ordinary, okay? And this is one of the things that uh, the world uh, tries to keep you locked into the world's way of doing things so that your hopes and things come out of the world, okay? Well, your hopes and things should come out of the Lord God. Regardless of how educated you are, you're only educated here among things that uh, evolve. So there's a certain amount of knowledge that evolved the, during your time. Well, that knowledge, again, is still evolving. So if you are a person who graduated, you got a certain certificate for this and that, you need to learn that the first things I seek, uh, Matthew chapter 6, 33, the first things that I seek are the kingdom. All right, the things of the kingdom and, and, and the kingdom's righteous ways, the ways of doing things, the closeness with God. Then I will take that closeness, that intimacy with God, that knowledge of God, okay, which involves prayer, knowledge of God, Jesus Christ. He told us men ought to always pray. Then that knowledge of God, I can take that knowledge of God and lay it on top of my natural education. And it will explain through my natural education the benefits of, of how the kingdom operates to everybody. This is what Paul did. Paul was a very educated person, very educated, but that education never, never got him anywhere until he met Jesus. And when the power of the Lord came on him and he studied things and from the, from the point of faith in Jesus Christ, then all of his education meant something after that because it helped him to reach people that nobody else could reach, okay? And so when it comes to prayer, now you say, well, what does that have to do with prayer? Everything, okay? Because what you know is where God's going to use you from. And that's based on your intimacy with the Lord God, praying to the Lord God every day so that that knowledge that you have of whatever area it is, see, you have to have people uh, with you or around you that have the same level of knowledge that you have about the kingdom, okay? And anything other than that causes you to be able to help people come up that do not have that knowledge so that you might raise them up also. And all of this happens through prayer, how the Lord leads you to do certain things, go certain places, be a certain place, or give certain things or whatever. It all comes through our connection of prayer. And we're going to look at that tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Thank you for being here for the second day of prayer. Uh, just again, just talking about these dynamics of communicating with the Lord God so that all of us might have a greater life in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you in the morning.